Hi everyone, today is a big day. Not only do we have the release of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch, but we also have the release of the brand new Switch Lite. And honestly, I know there's probably a hundred channels doing this video out there, and since I'm so small, probably very few people are going to see mine, but I'm so darn excited, you know what, I decided to do this video anyway, and we're going to do an unboxing and a first look at the Nintendo Switch Lite. So, like most of you out there, I'm probably most interested in the D-pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this together. I've actually been waiting all day to be able to film this for you guys. And after that, we're going to try out the uh, Nintendo Switch Lite with a couple of game types that the old Switch had problems with in portable mode. Uh, for example, 2D fighters, uh, 2D platformers, because it didn't have a traditional, traditional D-pad on it, uh, it sometimes had a little bit of difficulty feeling comfortable in those games. So let's take a open, let's start by unboxing this and taking a first look at the Nintendo Switch Lite. So first, let's take a couple of seconds to look at the packaging. So it's pretty simple. You've got the Nintendo Switch logo. You've got your identification as the Nintendo Switch Lite. As you can see, I chose to buy the yellow model. On each side, you have a sort of smaller view of the Nintendo Switch Lite, front and back. And on the back of the packaging, well, you have the back of the console. So, without further ado, let's start getting this thing unboxed. So, when you open it up, it seems pretty well packaged to begin with. We've got the console at the top. We keep going. We've got a quick safety guide. And then we have the USB-C charger, which is actually the exact same charger as the uh, traditional Nintendo Switch. So they are actually both compatible. So let's get that out of the way and let's look at this console. So this is our first look at the Nintendo Switch Lite in person. it out of its packaging and it is quite beautiful and honestly grab it in my hands it's actually heavier than I thought it'd be but at the same time it's not a heavy console it's just that honestly it makes it feel like a really sturdy and quality console I thought it was going to be lighter and feel cheaper than this but it actually feels really good and really quickly like this the thumbsticks still feel very close to the original and the D-pad, actually, quick overview, seems pretty good. Maybe just a little bit softer than I would like. But without further ado, let's pop a couple of games in and let's take, a, let's take it for a spin. Let's see how it really does in gameplay scenarios. Now, so here we are on Dragon Ball um, Fighters. So I thought we would do just a couple of arcade matches just to get a feeling if this D-pad is something that can work for this game. Because uh, like I said, with the traditional Switch, the biggest problem came from trying to play the traditional 2D fighters. So let's take one, a team that I'm used to. And uh, just tell you guys, I'm not exactly in the most comfortable position here to play. So we're just going to take Snake Way, we're going to do a couple of easy matches. Basically, it's just to test out the D-pad and see how it how it responds, can I do a quarter circle forward, quarter circle back comfortably and give you an idea of how the system plays. So I thought it'd be better to do it this way, filming, although it's not very comfortable, just because uh, screen captures don't really give you an experience of how exactly you're moving along with the system. So far, it's responding pretty good. Sorry about if the console's moving around a bit. I'm going to try to keep it as steady as possible. Now, I'm aware that these, uh, since we're doing Snake Way, these 
as you can see they are pretty easy but like I said the point wasn't to see the point wasn't to see uh, basically if, how good of a player I am it's just to see if we can do all the required moves Easy, medium, get back in there. So, so as we can see, actually, the D-pad is responding pretty well. Of course, it's not the most comfortable setup, but like I said, but as you can see, uh, moves that were sort of not natural and harder to do in the, uh, with the original switch because it didn't have a D-pad, on this one is actually working out pretty well. So uh, I think we're going to move on to our next game. We got uh, a just sense of what, uh, what the console has to offer for traditional 2D fighters. So here we are at our second game and this is the uh, second section that often uh, I found there was problems with the original switch because you didn't have a d-pad were traditional 2D side scrollers so sort of those legacy collections like the one I have here which is Mega Man Legacy. So let's just start with Mega Man 1. We're gonna try Cut Man Stage which is uh, normally the place you start in Mega Man 1. And uh, I might cut parts of the stages out just because uh, for logic for you guys I'm not sure you want to sit through maybe uh, five minutes of just seeing a stage that most of you have probably seen in video game history a lot before. Just that one there. So honestly, the D-pad is feeling so much better than those four separate directional buttons that we had on the old Switch. Like I said, playing at this angle is not the best experience though, but I'm trying to get it done nonetheless. Especially for these games where So as you can see, I am not a speedrunner of the game. I've played it hundreds of times, but I've never pretended to be speedrunner <laughs> runner quality. But I do need this stage pretty much by heart, and I can tell you that so far the D-pad is doing pretty well. So it's more the position I'm in that is lacking comfort. But if it was, if I was able to play without my arms stretched out and having and holding the console straight rather than looking at it at an, at an angle. I would probably be doing pretty much well in this stage. So that D-pad really is very good for 2D side scrollers. So if you were waiting to play Hollow Knight, if you were waiting to play those games, you weren't looking at buying a pro controller, the uh, Switch Lite is going to give you a, a pretty good gaming experience on that level. life there. So overall I think that we can make this a success. Now I missed that last part of the stage but you know what 
it doesn't really matter because like I said the point of this isn't to show you guys my gaming skills which right now are really put at a test because like I said I'm arms outstretched with my camera in between me and the and the um, and the switch and I'm playing through the camera which is not <laughs> obviously the best thing there is a certain amount of delay but uh, I can really say that the d-pad although it's not the best in the world it is now much more functional for all types of gameplay than the old one was like the old d-pad basically was very good for games which was using it as a secondary input for sort of you know special items or stuff like that but where you were depending on the d-pad to be your main uh, you know main f basically functionality for moving your characters it was actually quite lacking and honestly the switch light on that part makes up for it so that was the overview of the gameplay types for the switch light that were a little bit more difficult on the original switch uh, we didn't look at all gameplay types and that was wanted for today's video because like i said it's really an overview a review a full review will be coming i would say in about a week but since I didn't have early access to the console, I didn't want to throw out a review after only 3-4 hours of gameplay. I want to try it in all its modes, tabletop, handheld, with a controller, without, and whatnot, to really get a sense of uh, what this console has to offer and what the experience is compared to the original Switch. Uh, we'll also be doing a video soon which will be putting both consoles really head to head. But overall, I hope you guys liked this video nonetheless. Uh, by the way, uh, you can make comments if you wish, but the gameplay footage was not to show you how good I am at those games because it was a pretty terrible setup. I was playing through the camera, arms extended, as I pretty much said in the video, but it was really to give you an, an idea that already I could tell that for 2D fighters and uh, basically 2D side scrollers, the Switch Lite was actually much more comfortable than using the original Switch in uh, just because of the presence of the d-pad rather than those four separate buttons which was a recurring problem for certain types of gameplay so i think overall in handheld mode this console is going to offer you a much more well-rounded experience um, and you know we'll get back like i said to a full review but i hope you appreciated the unboxing if you're looking at picking up the switch Lite yourself before you know in the next few days i'll be leaving affiliate links down below uh, as usual, a uh, like and a subscribe would be really appreciated, and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.